Hi, this is a, an example of what you can do in Visual Basic 6 that you can't do in Visual Basic.net. As you can see, we've got a chessboard here. Uh, the pieces are set up as they would be on a chessboard and they are represented by capital R, capital N, capital B, capital Q, capital K, etc, etc, capital P, uh, P. Uh, and the black pieces are lowercase, so it would be a, a lowercase R, lowercase N, etc. The actual font is called Traveller Chess Font, and it's available free online. Just uh, go to Google and search Chess Traveller Fonts and see what turns up. There are some places that charge for it, we don't need to pay. Right, let's just have a look. We'll have a look at the code. It's one line of code. Uh, we first of all we declare a variable called clicked. This tells us whether whether the the, um, the square has been clicked, and if it has, then it, obviously the next piece is to put it, put the next piece down. So we start off with a form load, and we set click to false. So if clicked equals false, then let's run the program. And you'll see what happens. Right, so now we can move the pieces. Simple. The first thing it does is take the label, the, the label caption of the piece that's clicked, and puts it into the label naught, which is this one up here. That's the one with the, with the if, you, if, if I make that visible. Which is true anyway, so we can see that. You should be able to see the piece. See, as, as you click, the piece goes there. And it gets taken from there and dropped onto the board. Uh, and then click to set to true. And then we do an else to see that if the if the uh, click is uh, false, then the, la the piece has to be dropped. So it's taken from the uh, label naught here and dropped onto the board all that is done with one line of code you can't do that in vb.net also there's let me show you this right i've added a button and entitled it position and here now we paste in a say we type it all in making you wait basically it's set up a string called position and then we add capital letters for the white pieces and black letters for the black pieces and then basically all we do is just go through a loop and plonk those into the position so let's run that and see what happens sorry about that that'll teach me to check it before I actually click the button right let's try again click position and that loads the position into the board again try doing that in vb.net and uh, it's a lot longer code back in a mo right the next uh, thing we want to add is a flip board so if we double click on the flip board button paste in the code we'll go through this in a minute but as I can show you now we can enter the position and then we can flip the board just like that again that would be extremely long piece of code in vb.net what we do here is um, we, we keep track of the uh, actual P squares lets and tops and then we go through a loop and the loop stores the lefts and tops coordinates into an array and then it reads from the array backwards and that's what flips the board and as I say not so easy to do in visual basic dot net I will uh, I'll try and do it I'll, I will do a 
uh, something similar to bb.net you know we'll be able to see the difference i'll do that next week that's a lot for now thank you for watching my name is paul somatti bye for now